Welcome back everyone to another editing tutorial with Premiere. Today uh, we're going to be dealing with image placements and getting an image to scroll and then making a preset out of that. Okay, so to get this started, we got Premiere open, and I am going to go over to the Effects tab, because this is where I like working in for this. So, we've got our image selected here. And with the image selected, I, I'm going to click up here to this little timeline and move the arrow back to the beginning, so it is right at the beginning of the clip. Then with that being done, I'm going to double check that my image here actually takes up the full screen. So if you click, hold, and drag this, you can change it. And it looks like 100% is perfect. So it is the full width of the video, so I'm happy with that. So next, I'm going to deal with the position. And the first number is the horizontal position, the second number is the vertical position. So again, I'm going to click and drag this, and I want my image to scroll starting at the bottom of the image. So, we are going to try to get it near the bottom. Once it is near the bottom, I still have a tiny little bit of black space here. So I'm going to click over there, and using the up and down arrow keys, you can change this number. And I'm going to do that to try to get my image directly to the bottom of the screen. Okay, and honestly, I'm having problems seeing it. So I'm going to do something else to make this a little bit easier. I'm going to go over to edit and create a new layer, which is a rectangle. And my fill, I'm going to make this bright red, because red is a really annoying color sometimes. And I'm going to extend this so that it is bigger than my video screen. Then I'm going to drag it below my image so that it is right there. And now we have this little red bar. So that'll make this a little bit easier. So now I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to use the arrow keys again. And I'm going to hit up very slowly, one at a time, until there is no red showing. So right there is where the red disappears. So that is what I want. So now that that is placed properly, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to click this toggle animation. And that will put a marker in my effects tab over here on the timeline. See, it's got that little diamond thing. So that is the first spot. And that is locked in, and the image will start scrolling there. Then I'm going to go to the end of the image, and you always have to come back one spot, or else things go weird. So move it to the end, and then back just one little tick. And then we're going to scroll this some more. So now I'm going to try scrolling this up to the top of the image. So let's go with there is really close. And then using the same approach as last time, I'm going to just really slowly use the arrow keys until that red is gone. And that is what I want for a preset, because we have those two little markers. So if I come back here and hit play, You'll notice that now the image starts scrolling at the bottom and slowly scrolls up to the top of the image. And when it gets to the top of the image, it moves on to the next clip. So I am very happy with that, and that is what I want. And because I am probably going to want to use this in other, uh, in other videos, I want a preset of this so that I don't have to redo this every single time. So to do that, uh, we right-click where it says Motion up here, and click Save Preset. And I know that this is... I, you can name this whatever you want, uh, but try to name it something valuable that will be easy to find later. So for this image, I'm going to 
just to make it easy for myself, I'm going to name it 3-2. That is the aspect ratio of the image, and it's scroll bottom up. And then you click OK. And over here, now we have 3-2 scroll bottom up under our presets. So to use this preset somewhere else, uh, first of all, we don't want this red thing, so that will be getting removed. But just to make sure our preset works, I'm going to drag it over under this next image, uh, which I apparently have some issues with. Pull my audio back to where it should be. Grab that. I apparently did not line things up properly. So, now that things are actually aligned properly, we have this image. So with that image selected, since I believe this is still the same aspect ratio, I'm going to try clicking this preset and dragging it down to this image. And you'll notice it applied the two dots, which should be the markers. So I'm going to start the video here and make sure this preset applied properly. And again, our image started scrolling at the bottom and is scrolling all the way up to the top. And on to the next video clip. So with that being said, I'm going to delete this graphic I created because I don't want that in the video. But I now have two images that scroll in my video. Well, I hope everyone found this useful. And if you did, definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And hopefully I will see everyone next time.